let's just... Shall we just go ca counterclockwise now, then? Shatter. Let's see. Let's see what shatter's about. Uh, this looks like a bug, and I don't know how I feel about that. If there is a bug on a skull. Oh no. In the ruins of future Britain, new gods rule the wastes. WASD to move, shift to sprint, left click to interact. Of course, there is sprint. When two previously unconnected groups meet, there is always a period of incompatibility. Now on the micro scale, this just means some awkward handshakes and uncomfortable laughter. On a grand scale, it can mean the decimation of one of the groups due to disease, technological superiority, cultural assimilation, etc. Hmm. However, we typically only view these interactions within the scope of our own species. Hmm. When encountering less advanced life forms, the extinction can be swift and entirely unintentional. Indeed, more species have been eliminated by sheer carelessness than were ever purged as part of the plan. Now take that knowledge and apply it in the other direction. If we came into contact with a species far more advanced than us, they might not even notice us, and we might not notice them. Now we envision an alien invasion as gigantic ships in the sky raining down some kind of weaponized energy. In reality, it is unlikely we would have the capacity to even fathom in what form these higher beings would come. Do you really think a cat is aware of the nature of a car before it is ground into the pavement? Mm. Maybe sometimes. I don't know. I don't like to think about that. Okay. Hmm. And we begin shatter. Uh, right, I'll have to capture that. Second. All right, let's look at our settings. Look sensitivity, music volume, sound effects, world brightness. Turn it up a little. My my uh, monitor is always like kind of dark too, especially compared to my other monitor. So, yeah. Um, I know, I, that makes me sad. That was a very saddening statement. Is a cat aware of the nature of the Roomba before it rides about the house, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright, um, these look like bugs, not ill. They just look like big, like, wasps. I don't like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like most cats are, like, pretty aware. When the car stops, I'm gonna get out and give them food. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, there's save slots. Okay. Hmm. Whoa. Praise... More again. Fuck the pigs. I do like pigs though. They're so cute. I don't I don't agree with sex with pigs. In fact, I I shouldn't do that. Don't do that. Is that a human? Where am I? Why did I... How did I get here? A homie? Well, this is a surprise. New faces are rare enough, but looks like you've got no neurals. None at all. You know the gods rule everything outside London, right? Without neural access, you'll be dead before morning. Help them? You gotta be crazy. This one? 
tell you what, down the hill there's a town, uh, if you can even call it that. If you find any neurals there, I'll configure them for you. But just so we're clear, you'll owe me. Okay. You cannot use this terminal. You must connect to the network first. You know someone with a service cat that tells them when they miss their home exit? What? Or when they get back on the interstate going the wrong way after stopping for gas? What the? Yeah, I was gonna say, what about GPS? Okay, uh, down the hill then. It looked like the other door is blocked anyways. No sense in checking it out. What is this? A flashlight? A simple torch. Press E to turn on and off like most tech in Britain. This is a battered old thing, clearly repaired by many different hands over the years. Okay. I don't think we need a flashlight now, but... I imagine we're gonna go somewhere very dark and spooky. Oh, hello! Do you have neurons? Without the Morrigan, we'd all be dead. The government don't give two shits about us. These are hard times. There's so much bioterrorism floating around. Without divine nanotech, our crops will, would fail and we'd starve. If we didn't die from some hacker's virus first. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just gonna walk around your house. Hope you don't mind. Hmm. Is this the town where we're meant to find murals? I wonder if we walk up this. We probably do, but let's go in here first. Hey, you. Our town's been loyal to the Morrigan since the world winter. We help nurture its fairy larva to maturity. In return, we're given some of the most useful biotech in Britain. We're willing to trade some if you got larva. You can find it all over the place, but only if you're connected to the to the network. Larva is really just data, after all. Okay, so we got to trade larva with this guy. Neural implants to increase stamina cost six larva. You do not have enough larva. Okay. So we can buy that once we find larva. Can we get up this hill? Let's go up the hill first, and then we'll go up whatever that is. That is very cool. The cat. Oh, we have stamina, I see. What's this? Oh, a neural implant. To install this, take it to the girl in the ruined church. A neural implant is a vial of hormones, enzymes, and man- nano- Nano... <laughs> Nano robotics. It can modify a person's brain chemistry to access the augmented reality network. Britain is a backwater country with woefully in a, in a, inadequate network infrastructure. Rogue AIs wander the digital realm, largely unchecked by the government. I'm guessing they are... Enemy? That we will encounter once we put the neural implant in? Oh, you okay? Take a nap. Alright, you take your nap. I thought my escape from London would be euphoric. For 30 years I've toiled in that dreary hell. Following the loudspeaker orders, doing my duty, they said the countryside was nearly decontaminated, that we could move back to a paradise of green rolling hills. But this place is a wasteland. The local town, if you can call a cluster of crumbling brick walls a town, were kind, at least. They gave me some biotech, which I'm obviously not going to use. Some pagan nonsense about gods. If I could only get out of the country, make it to Nigeria, or or Abuja, or Lagos. Is that how you say those places? I'll leave in the morning, head to the coast. 
It looks like you didn't leave, dude. It's probably because you uh didn't put in the um the nanotech. Right? So we have to. What's this? Yeah, there's a lot of nappy naps. It's okay. Oh, I can't jump off. And it looks like I do have a health bar as well. So I probably <laughs> I probably want to avoid taking damage. So let's go back to this church, put our nanotech in. And then I assume the lady in there is going to ask us to do a task in return for the nanotech installation. I'm assuming. I don't know if that's accurate. Well, looks like you found a neural injector. The right hormone con config will get you. Oh, the right hormone config will get you on grid. Wrong one will break your brain. I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. So give it here and stay fucking still, unless you want the mental capacity of a turnip. What if I already have the mental capacity of a turnip? What if this is normal life for me? How do you know? Your brain has been configured to access the Augmented Reality Network. In the metropolises of Abuja and Tokyo, this would mean a world of seamless capitalist integ integration. But in backwater Britain, outdated network infrastructure is ruled by rogue AIs, worshipped as gods. How big of a turnip? Like, medium size, not particularly large. And there, done. If you see any weird shit, like giant pink insects and stuff, don't worry. They're just our AI overlords, winky face. This had better be worth it. Hmm. Yes. Let's save. Oh. Hey. At least they don't attack us? Maybe they are a friend. Alright, let's go up, um... Hi! What cutie! What a little baby! We'll go up that wooden structure. I imagine that the door is locked, but let's see. Let's see, let's see. That is a big, a big one. Oh, it's been unlocked. Let's go up there first. I want to know what's waiting for us at the top. Can we speak with you? Primate, your presence was was predicted by Bridget and her divination algorithms. You are a vertebrae of special interest to us. Your arrival co coincides with the birth of a divine pupa, a new god. Coincidence is statistically irrelevant. Though we admit a curiosity for such ir irregularities. A test. We ask this primate to locate the divine pupa in the other world and return it to us. Our servants have left you a key. You will need it. The divine pupa is located in a ruin not far from here, but it can only exist in the other world. There is a terminal near the Divine Pupa. We have modified it to give you access to the other world. Find it. Although luck is a non-existent phenomenon, 
We have an illogical fondness for refer referencing it, so good luck, primate. Great. Excellent. At least they are friend and not enemy. I hope. Yeah, nice bugs. Hey, gent, how's it going? Rusted key, an old key to a nearby ruin. As Britain's wealth declined, so did its population. Succumbing to genetically engineered diseases, starvation, or migration, many old buildings were sealed up to rot. Okay. Perfect. Well, if we go then. Um... I wonder if we can go through that other door, um, near the church. What is that thing up there? Oh, is it a bug? No, we can, uh, oh, oh, we can sell that to the guy. Right? Oh, I didn't mean to click out of it, but that's okay. I think we can sell that. Without the Morgan? Right, right. Right. Okay, she says the same thing. So I think we can, like, boost our stamina with that. Uh... Bye. I don't have enough larva! Darn it. Do I have an inventory? Oh, I need... I need more. Okay. Okay, off we go, off we go. Land prawns? Sky prawns? Yeah, these... These could... Yeah, sky... Sky prawns could work. What's up there? I can jump. Oh, I think I see some more fairy larva or pupa. I would love to have more stamina. It runs out so quickly. like this. This looks cool. Money? Old money. Paper currency bearing the insignia of an ancient dead empire. For those trapped under gov government rule in London, this is the only accepted currency, though there is little to spend it on as luxury goods from Asia or Africa are rarely imported. Another book. Joseph is sick. He is de delirious with fever and his skin bloats with strange boils that twist into a spiral pattern and bloom into vibrant colors. This is no natural disease. Tiny specks form the letters JJ on his neck. It must be the calling card of the fucker who engineered it. We've abided by government regulation regulations all this time. We give the soldiers their type plus whatever else they ask for. I think I said that wrong. But still, they won't give us medicine. Tomorrow I'm taking Joseph to the Morgan. I won't call that thing a god, it's just data. But so is our DNA. So is this virus. It's our last hope. Hmm. Am I sick? I have no body. I am ethereal. Okay. Um. Through that other doorway then. Did I play Outsiders or Mr. Bucket? Did you play Outsiders or Mr. Bucket told me to yet? No, not yet. We've played, um... Game? Okay. Uh, we played Summer Night? We played Summer Night. The pay is nice. And... Catan? Something with a, something with a C. Something 
Summer Night got me. Oh, who are these people? Oh, Carthank. Yeah, that's right. So this is the fourth one we're playing. Okay, hold it right there. This here is a government checkpoint. You too thick to know what that means? It means fuck off. Unless, of course, you fancy giving this corporal something they can spend back in London, eh? None of this larva crap. Real money or fuck off. What's that? You got a few quid on you already? I'm a man of my word. We'll let you through, so go on then. Piss off. What about you? You heard the corporal. Piss off. Alright. Do I have a P for pissing? No. Alright. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, Skate. How are you? I think did they did Happy's Humble Burger Farm? No, I haven't played that. That's actually on my list. I didn't realize that they made that, but that was. I raged. I raged playing that game. I'm surprised we beat it, but I raged. Let's go this way first. See if there's any more fairy pupa hiding. I think I see. I see some. On the other side of the fence? Can we... Mm. Oh, okay. Dialogue is comedy, and well, just finished my dinner because I'm a big boy. Aww, what do you have for dinner? Yeah, Car Carthink was like a platformer. It was, it was Lufty. Thank you for the lurk refresh. It was, fr it was frustrating. Okay, we have four, so we need two more. Anything else back here? Ah, oh, what's that? Hello. I wonder if this loops in a big circle. Oh, it does. Oops. Yeah, this is to the church. Okay, that's that's nice. Rigatoni with meat sauce and broccoli. That sounds delish. I agree. The atmosphere was really good, and I liked that. I liked the music a lot, but the platforming was pain. What was your least favorite? Before we go through there, I just want to... Maybe we should save. Maybe that's why it opened that door for us. Yeah, it just loops us in a circle, I think. I don't think there's anything down that way. Let's check back here, and then we'll uh, go ahead and save. Nothing? We have four berries. Um... I... I'd probably get the second warrior first. Rather than respecting. That way you can drop two warriors. Rot gut, it just felt, I don't know, incomplete. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, which, I wonder what... Which one Rock Gut was? I read the descriptions of all the games, but I don't recall. Saved. Perfect. Alright. Off we go then. Oh? Invisible wall? Excellent. <laughs> Outsiders was your favorite? Okay. I said this earlier, I've seen bits and pieces from like, um, Dread X collection games, but I don't think I've seen any, any of these games, so 
It's all new to me. Oh, that's, that was the rusty key. Oh yeah, I, I've been meaning to play them and like I, I kind of got FOMO with everyone playing the Dread X Collection 5. So I was like, you know what, we're, we're gonna start them. We're gonna start them. Is the little baby here? Oh, hi. That can't be the divine one, can it? No, that was just fairy larva. Hi. What you doing there? Oh. Oh, it's the battle. Toxic. <laughs> oh? No. Oh, and this is why we need flashlight. Oh, that's the divine one. Where is it? I think that's an enemy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, overall, I am- I am liking it. Okay, so I have to sneak by. Oh, I see it. Divine pupa. Oh, I read about that. But I didn't quite understand it because I was reading it at like 3 a.m. <laughs> I didn't realize all the games were inspired by PT for this collection. But I do really, I've liked, um, I really like the pay is nice. I really like that one so far. Uh, Divine Pupa, Chrysalis of a God. Bring this to the Morgan without leaving the other world, while most larvae will undergo metamorphosis into a fairy, in exceptional circumstances, a god is formed. The pupa, hungry for data, consumes an obscene amount of network resources. For this reason, it can only exist in the other world, an imperfect simulation of reality. I, yeah, we're helping out the more again. Yes. Oh, fuck! Oh, oh my god! I, 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 I paused because I wanted to just chill out for a second. I didn't think this boy is gonna rush in here and, and start swinging. Okay, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to run. Okay, here we go. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Uh. Ow! Oh no! Get through the don't the fucking get out of my way! No one likes you. Ow! Damn it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Question. We have five fairy larvae, and we need six to upgrade our, our stamina, so I'm wondering if I missed one. Do you think I've missed one? That I can, like, run back and upgrade my stamina with? Have I missed one somewhere? 
Yeah, no one likes- no one likes that- that guy. Alright, whatever, here we go. I don't- I don't really see why we have a flashlight. I don't think we really need it, do we? Wait, do I have it already? Is it in my- Oh, I have it. Okay. Oh shit. No, no, no. Shit! Uh, run! Run faster? Oh, oh god! Oh god, he's still coming! No, no, no. Oh shit! Oh, they don't- They're relentless! Oh no. No, 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 no! Run! Shut the door! Where am I? Oh, I can't! They have wings! That's right! They have wings! No, no, no! Oh, fuck me. Oh, god. Can I attack them? Oh, my god. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, please, please, no! Oh, there's another one! What the F, man? No, 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 ah, ah. I am running for my life. There's another one. How are you meant to, how, what the, there's a whole line of them. I don't understand. Withered divine pupa. Do, is this a bad ending? Is this a bad ending? If I were to go and deliver the withered divine pupa, does this mean? I think I know where the final fairy was. I think it must have been um, on top of this hill in this building. I That's the one place I didn't check. Um... Should I try over again? Should I, should I retry? Or... Or should I deliver the withered divine pupa and anger our overlord? Be like, hey look, I killed God! Sorry! Yeah, we'll turn in and see what happens. I just want to see if there's a pupa up here. No? No? Oh, crap. Where's the last pupa? How do we how do we upgrade if we can't find six of them? Withering is part of their natural life cycle. No, if you go back into the normal world, they wither and die. It can't survive. So so now that we died and came back into this world, uh, we killed it. Six larvae. I don't have enough. There's, how do you outrun all of those people? Those, you know, flying people, how do you? You don't have enough stamina and they're just all following you. Is it a stealth thing? Do you have to be like ultra stealthy? The primate has retrieved a divine pupa, but it is dying. This pupa cannot survive outside the other world. You must take it back there to revive it. Only then should you return to us. Dang it. Okay, so I have to I have to be in the other world to deliver it. At least they didn't kill me on the spot.
I'd really love to get the final fairy pupa to... Yeah, not as, not as bad as it could be, absolutely. Maybe it's behind the church. Maybe it's back that way and I didn't notice. That's another place I didn't check. Because the stamina is pain. Best units to kill ranged for quest. You're going to want to like epic or rogue. Or a vampire, yeah, because the ranged are all flying units in this, uh, this event. Back here. <gasps> it's back here. Okay. Okay. Let's let's actually save. We'll buy the stamina. You know what? No, we'll we'll buy the stamina and then save and then we'll go attempt the other world again. Hopefully this makes our life a little bit easier, trying to maneuver around the flying human things. Stamina Neurals. The Neural Augmentation of, de of design Divine Design increases movement speed and stamina refresh rate. Those who worship the gods of Britain are often rewarded with esoteric biotech. Though the government claims such technology is defective and dangerous, most know otherwise. Okay. So we move faster. Ah! Excellent! Oh my gosh, this will be so useful. It doesn't run out as quickly, and we run faster. Let's save. Oh wait, this way? Me shutting the door behind me as if it would keep out the flying enemies. I'm genius level. Okay, that was weird. you tried. I wonder if you can stealth around them. Maybe when this one's turned its back. Oh shit! Well, I got the jukes now. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh crap! Oh crap! I'm too fast for my own good! Why scary noises? Oh! 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 How 
How do I bring it to them? Oh, I see. The primate has retrieved the divine pupa. Normally a fairy would retrieve such a precious entity. I was mocked by the other gods for sending a primate. And though you were slain by flesh things of the other world, you succeeded in your task. The divine pupa you brought will soon mature. It will likely become a minor deity. Little more than a fairy. But a single anomalous simulation predicted something exceptional. A near omnipotent god that could reshape Britain as it wished. And as, you, as young gods possess irrational affection for those who have helped them, this would make you a vertebrae of exceptional significance. This interaction has provided us with much data, primate, but now it is time for you to leave. It is exceedingly probable we will meet again. Game by Lovely Hellplace. I like that one! We did save Britain. Very Pog. Did that sign have Harry Potter's face on it? Did it? Wait, it does it have a Santa hat? <laughs> I I like the music in this game too. This music had yeah, I was gonna say this this game had good music as well. Nice. I, I like this one. I, I like the atmosphere and everything. Did I finish the last game? I missed it. The, the platforming one? Yes, Katie, we completed it. I did not rage quit. I successfully finished that game. Very three fast by them. Save Britain for the Empire. Santa Morgan. <laughs> what wait, what is Morgan a reference to? Katie Papag is here? No. You left off where I said I was gonna rage quit. I did not- I did not rage quit. We completed that one. This was good. I liked it. And I like that the bugs were not evil, or were they? I'm not sure, but I enjoyed it.